Today, we'll be walking you through setting up your TechLink's Label Design Software's network license. While we'll be demonstrating using CodeSoft, please note that these steps are applicable to both Label Matrix and Label View as well. Before we dive in, ensure that you've successfully downloaded and installed the Network License Manager files onto your machine. Once installed, we will open the Network Toolbar. You can do this in one of two ways. The first is by going to your Windows search bar and typing in Network Toolbar. The second way to do this is to go to your Windows icon, go to your list of all apps, and navigate to N for Network Toolbar. Within the Network Toolbar, we'll proceed to the Activate Our License option. To do this, access the License Upgrade. To activate the license, we will click on Activate. It'll then ask us for our serial number and password. Once the information has been filled in, click Next. Then we will either complete the company information form with accurate details or verify that the pre-filled information is correct. Once done, review the privacy policy, check the box, and click Next. Our license has now been successfully activated. We will click Finish and navigate back to the Network Toolbar. In the Network Toolbar, we will open the License Service Controller option. The services may already be running. If this is the case, go ahead and pause them by clicking on the Pause button. Once the services have been stopped, we will either restart or start the services by clicking on the Play button. After a moment, the services should be up and running smoothly. Once the services are running, we have one final step. On any machines with the software installed, we will open up the Network Administration tool. You can do this by searching up Network Administration in the Windows search bar. In the Network Administration tool, we will check the box Use Network License. Then, in the Server Location text box, we will type in backslash backslash the name of the host machine. Once that has been done, click OK at the bottom of your screen. The window should close automatically, but you might encounter a pop-up message asking if you want to import any administrator config file. We generally advise saying no to this as this will bring unnecessary settings from the host machine to the workstation. Once this has been done, your machine is now able to access the license and will open. If you encounter any errors during the process, don't hesitate to contact your region's customer support team for further assistance. You can find their contact information on our website at techlinks.com. Also, make sure to subscribe to the TechLinks YouTube channel for more helpful tutorials.